Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back here with a, another Satchet tutorial video here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make Kropika from Hunter x Hunter, or Hunter x Hunter, not really sure which one it is, but I'll just say Hunter x Hunter, but I hope you guys enjoy this week's Anime Week tutorial. I uh, enjoyed this show, I think this is like the most recent anime I've been watching, and I just like, it's probably like my favorite character actually from the show, and yeah. Uh, I thought I'd just make him like one of my favorite like all-time anime characters probably like out of any show so uh, yeah I thought I'd just make him and I hope you guys enjoy this week's video but if you guys haven't already haven't already leave a like subscribe and put on notifications and I'll see you guys in the rest of the tutorial so the blocks you're going to be needing for this tutorial will be down in the description of this video but I will also say them right now which is blue wool white terracotta, white wool, white concrete, blue concrete, yellow terracotta, cyan terracotta, red wool, red concrete, yellow concrete, and finally yellow carpet. Alrighty, so now we have our outliner here and for the first row, what you're going to want to do, place eight blocks of blue wool. The second row is one white terracotta, two black wool, two white terracotta, two black wool, one white terracotta. The next row is two white wool, one white concrete, two white wool, one white concrete, two white wool. The next row is one white wool, two white concrete, two white wool, two white concrete, one white wool. The next row is three white concrete, two white wool, three white concrete. The next row is one white concrete, six yellow terracotta and one white concrete the next row is one yellow terracotta six blue concrete and one yellow terracotta the next row is just eight blocks of blue concrete i will slow it down a little bit because you need to pause the video real quick anyways the next row is one blue concrete two yellow terracotta two blue concrete two yellow terracotta one blue concrete the next row is one blue concrete one yellow terracotta, one blue concrete, two yellow terracotta, one blue concrete, one yellow terracotta, one blue concrete. The next row is two blue concrete, one yellow terracotta, two blue concrete, one yellow terracotta, two blue concrete. And the last and final row for the leg, or the front side of the leg, is just eight blocks of blue concrete, and that is 12 rows in total. Pause the video if you guys need to, and then I will be moving on with the rest of the front side of the statue. Alrighty. So what you're going to want to do, place 8 blocks of blue concrete again. Then place 4 blocks of white terracotta on each side. Or on the right side I mean. And on the left side place 3 blocks of white terracotta and 1 cyan terracotta. This is the chain on his hand that he has in the show. On the left hand side, or my left. Just one block of cyan terracotta to make it more clear. On the second row of blue concrete, so above the row of yellow terracotta, or the last row replaced yellow terracotta, so on the second row. This is also the first row of the arms and the body, of course. Anyways, if you guys want to pause the video real quick, uh, feel free to do so. Anyways, I'm going to be doing the arms, so on the left hand side, place one cyan terracotta. Three white terracotta from left to right. The third row for the left hand side is just four blocks of white wool. Then place seven rows of white concrete. So three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rows. And the second to last row, or the eleventh row from left to right, is three white terracotta, one white wool. Then place two white concrete, two white wool. Pause the video if you guys need to. That is 12 rows in total for the arm, or the left hand side of the arm. The right hand side is exactly the same thing besides placing any cyan terracotta. So just place one row of white terracotta, one row of white wool, seven rows of white concrete. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we add the white wool on the last two rows from left to right, which is one white wool, three white concrete, two white wool, two white concrete. Alrighty, pause the video if you guys need to. I'll just, I guess, get closer real quick. And I will back up. Alrighty, so now what you're going to want to do, 
On the second row of the body, since you already have the first row done, place one row of yellow terracotta. The third row for the body is one yellow terracotta, two blue concrete, two yellow terracotta, two blue concrete, one yellow terracotta. The next row, which you're going to want to do, or the fourth row, yep, place three blue concrete, two yellow terracotta, three blue concrete. The next row is one blue concrete, one yellow terracotta, one blue concrete, two yellow terracotta, one blue concrete, one yellow terracotta, one blue concrete. The next row is one yellow terracotta, two blue concrete, two yellow terracotta, two blue concrete, one yellow terracotta. And you're going to want to do this about two or yeah, two more times, I believe. Might be another row I might actually be forgetting. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Alrighty. The next row, so it's a total of three times. Alright, just to make sure. Anyway, so we should have four rows left over. Anyways, the next row is one yellow terracotta, one blue concrete, one yellow, ter four yellow terracotta, my bad. I was about to say one. Then you place one blue concrete, one yellow terracotta. Three rows left over. You place one blue concrete, one yellow terracotta, one blue concrete, two yellow terracotta, one blue concrete, one yellow terracotta, one blue concrete. The second to last row, you place three blue concrete, two yellow terracotta, three blue concrete. The last and final row, which is the twelfth row for the body, is two blue concrete, four yellow terracotta, and two blue concrete. The body is 12 rows and the legs is 12 rows, so it's a total of 24 blocks up high, basically for every statue. Every statue dimension is exactly the same thing, or almost, or most of them are. If you, I'm just saying this just in case there's anyone new making statues, you never know. Anyways, pause the video if you guys need to for the front side. I will just get closer up for the body portion, and I will back up right now for the whole front side. So pause the video, pause the video if you guys need to, and I will do the back side right now. Alrighty, so now what you're going to want to do, head on over to the very, very bottom, where we started out on the legs, or the video. Place three blocks of blue wool coming towards you like so, on both sides. Should leave you with a six block gap filled in with blue wool. I will do the side of the leg first, so what you're going to want to do, place one row of white terracotta. Then place two rows of blue wool, or not blue wool, white wool. My bad. Then you place one row of white concrete, two blocks of white wool, one white concrete, one row of yellow terracotta, then place one blue wool, blue concrete, I don't know why I keep my saying blue wool, <laughs> my apologies on that guys. Anyways, place one yellow terracotta, one blue concrete, alright, just to make it clear. Then you're going to want to do, going to want to do this four more times, so on the last four rows, on the side of the leg. So it's a total of five rows. Count the first time that we did it. As you guys can see, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Pause the video if you guys need to for the side of the leg. And you're going to want to do this on the other side as well. So just mirror it on the other side. So just copy what's in front of you. One row of yeah, white terracotta, if I can talk. I'm not going to talk for this part of the video since I'm probably going to mess up my words. I can't really talk right now. I don't know why. But you guys get it, just copy it on the other side, copy what's in front of you. But I will also back up so you guys can pause this side of the leg as well if you guys need to, but it's the exact same thing. So I don't think you guys need any help on that or should struggle. On I don't think you guys should be struggling on this. But anyways, now for the back side, on the second row, place white terracotta on the six blood gap that we have now. And the next, let me see, four rows, you just copy what's in front of you. Alrighty, so just copy what's in front of you, just the next four rows. So this is three rows, and this is four. Alrighty. Now, since I said, yep, copy these four rows. Anyways, now you should have left over one, two, three, four, five, six rows. The remainder six rows or the remaining six rows, I mean, you just fill it in with blue concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Alrighty. Pause the video if you guys need to real quick. Anyways, 
Now to do the arms, what you're going to want to do on my left, looking at it on my left from the backhand side or the back side, I mean, on the left side, place three blocks of white terracotta four times, come towards you like so. And if you look at the arm at the bottom, it is a four by four, like so. And on my right, where the science terracotta is, what you're going to want to do, place three blocks of white terracotta three times. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And on the science terracotta row, just place three blocks like so. Come towards you like so. Look at it at the bottom. Say four by four. Anyways, now what you're going to want to do, uh, I will do the arms first, actually, since it's probably going to be easier. Just, okay, I'll just do this first. So on my left, not where the science terracotta is. So what you're going to want to do, place one row of white terracotta, one row of white wool. And then you place seven rows of white concrete. And where the white wool is, it's kind of flipped, actually. So you should have two rows left over. You place from left to right, one white wool, three white concrete, two white wool, two white concrete. So if you guys see what I'm talking about, it is flipped, kind of, in a way. Anyways, you're going to want to mirror that on the other side. Well, yeah, just mirror it on the other side, actually. So just place one row of white terracotta, white terracotta, and one row of white wool, and seven rows of white concrete. Two rows left over. Alrighty, then place three blocks of white concrete, one white wool, two white concrete, two white wool. Pause the video if you guys need to. The back side, we will do right now. So for the first row of the body, just place one row of blue concrete. Then place one row of yellow terracotta for the second row. The third row, place one yellow terracotta, one blue wool. Then you place four blue concrete. One blue wool, one yellow terracotta. The next row is one blue wool. The next thing you're going to want to do is place six blue concrete, one blue wool. And you're going to want to do this about two more times or for the next two rows, like so. Then you're going to want to place three rows of blue concrete. One, two, and three. If I can count. And you should have three rows left over. What you're going to want to do, place one blue wool, six of blue concrete, one blue wool. And do this one more time for the next row. You have one row left over. Place two blocks of blue wool, four blue concrete, and two blue wool. Pause the video if you guys need to right now. Or I'll just go closer in on the upper portion of the backside. And I'll back up all the way. And we got to do the side of the arms real quick. I almost forgot. Anyways, so now what you're going to want to do, you place on the, on my left, so on my left where there is no sign terracotta, you place one row of white terracotta, one row of white wool, seven rows of, of white concrete, if I can think, or actually, yeah, seven rows, or no, you just place eight or nine rows. I mean, I don't know why I forgot these last two rows. I thought you had something on the side right here, but um, I mean, if you guys really want to, but you already have it on the backhand side, so you guys don't need to add anything on the side of the arm. Alrighty, so it's just basically nine rows for the side of the arm. Anyways, my apologies on that, guys. I, I kind of froze up there. Anyways, on my right, looking at it from the back, on the side of the arm of course from left to right place one side terracotta one white concrete then you place one white one row of white wool and then you place nine rows of white concrete so three four five six seven eight nine fill that in just making sure and counting ready pause the video if you guys need to that is the chain on his hand or on his left hand if you're looking at it from the front side anyways now go to the top right here and kind of like what we did with the white terracotta going back by three, you just place two blocks instead with white concrete. Just three times. So one, two, one, two, and one, two. Do this on the other side as well. One, two, one, two, and one, two. And if you look at it from the top, it is a four by four. Like I said at the bottom of the arm, it is a four by four on both sides, of course. This is what I like to call the shoulder of the statue. And you should have an eight block gap in the middle, like so. Anyways, 
I will go to the back side if you guys want to pause the video and I will go back to the front if you guys want to pause as well. Then I will finish off the remainder of the tutorial or the head. So pause the video if, real quick. Pause the video real quick if you guys need to, if I can talk. Okay, so now the blocks you no longer need for the remainder of the tutorial or for the head is blue wool, the blue concrete, white wool, and the sign terracotta. If you guys want to sort out the blocks just like me, go ahead. If not, then it doesn't really matter just to make it easier on you guys or on myself, basically. Anyways, so now what you're going to want to do, go to the top of the head where we were before I said to pause the video if you guys need to place one white terracotta block on the blue concrete basically on the fifth block if you look at it at the very top place one white terracotta on the fifth block as well at the very top go out by two with white terracotta so it should be two blocks sticking out from the front but only six block gap in with white terracotta on both of the rows on the front side head on over to the back of the white terracotta it place five blocks of yellow concrete should, sh there should be two blocks of yellow concrete hanging out on the back. Fill in both the rows in the back side on the six or with the six black gap in with yellow concrete. And at the end of this, before I forget to mention it, the head should be an eight by eight already. So what you're gonna want to do on the second row on the front side of the face, place one white terracotta, one white concrete, one red wool, two white terracotta, one red wool. One white concrete, one white, one white terracotta. The next row is one yellow terracotta, one white concrete, one red concrete, two two white terracotta, one red concrete, one white concrete, one yellow terracotta. The next row is one yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, or actually two yellow terracotta. My bad. Then it is. One yellow concrete, three yellow terracotta, and one yellow concrete. And I did forget to add this on the third row, right next to the red concrete. On the left hand side, break this white terracotta block and place a yellow terracotta already. So it should be looking like this if you guys need a positive video. This is half of the head, so just four rows right now. Anyways, the next row is two yellow concrete, one one yellow terracotta, two yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, and two yellow concrete. Sorry, I'm going a little bit slow. At, I'm kind of, I just don't want to confuse myself because there's, obviously I have to make the hair 3D, but uh, I'm kind of getting messed up a little bit with the eyebrows because it is also yellow terracotta, but you guys will see in a second here. Anyways. The next row, let me see, so we have three, four, five, already. The next row is one yellow terracotta, two yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, two yellow, ter two yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, and one yellow concrete. The next row is one yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, two yellow, ter yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, and three yellow concrete. The next row is just eight blocks of yellow concrete. And now what you're going to want to do with the yellow blocks, bring it out by one except for the corner block at the very top. So everything that you see, bring it out by one. Well, almost everything. So you guys see in a second here. Uh, let me just see if I did this right. Okay, almost on here. You guys see what I'm talking about? The corner blocks at the very top, you do not fill in. And you guys might have brought these blocks out. Or So on the fourth row, I'll explain it better. You got to break one yellow terracotta block on each side. So right here, where this block is, right above the red concrete block, this yellow terracotta block, you break it. And on the other side as well, above the red concrete block, break the yellow terracotta block. Should be yellow terracotta behind it. This is the eyebrow, you guys don't know. For Kropika, and I did do it right already. Uh, I like the hair. I like how I did it. I don't know, I like how it turned out. Anyways, pause the pause the video if you guys need to, and I will do the side of the head and or the rest of the head right now. Okay, so now what you're gonna want to do? Head on over to the right hand side of the head, 
we're going to break one block on the side right here where this yellow terracotta block is and not on the front side but where i guess the 2d part is or the i guess the second row sticking out break this yellow terracotta block replace it with white terracotta anyways the second row of the of the head or the side of the head you place three white terracotta and then you place one yellow concrete one yellow terracotta one yellow concrete one yellow terracotta the next row is one yellow terracotta two white terracotta one yellow concrete one yellow terracotta one yellow concrete one yellow terracotta the next row is one yellow terracotta one yellow concrete one yellow terracotta one yellow concrete one yellow terracotta one yellow concrete and one yellow terracotta and the next four rows you're just going to want to do this exactly the same thing just four more times exactly the same thing for the remainder of the head the next four rows just literally the same thing already and the other side of the head is exactly the same thing so just copy it don't forget to break this yellow terracotta block and replace it with white terracotta anyways just copy that real quick and as you guys are doing that i would explain the back side real quick just place one if you guys want to do that later just place one yellow concrete one yellow terracotta two yellow concrete one yellow terracotta one yellow concrete one yellow terracotta and you're going to want to do this about so if you already have two rows just do this six more times i believe one two three four five six yep do this six more times on the back side and the top of the head everything you see here you just fill it in with yellow concrete or once you have everything else filled in here let me just do this real quick okay fill this in with yellow concrete and you place everything on top of the yellow concrete in with yellow carpet even the front side right here and the corner block right here anyways i will be right back with you guys so just copy the other side exactly what's in front of you and just do the back side like i said just six more times so i'll see you guys after the time lapse Alrighty, so now that we are done, the only thing I did see was the yellow terracotta block. Just break in place yellow concrete on the left hand side, and that should be it. Anyways, that's going to be it on how to make crappy gut from Hunter Hunter or Hunter X Hunter. If this can load quicker, I don't know why I got solo Wi Fi or something, or it's just slow. But, anyways, <laughs> hope you guys enjoy this week's anime week tutorial. And if you guys haven't already, as always, leave a like, subscribe, and put on post notifications. And thank you guys for tuning in. As always, thank you guys so much for the support. As always, I haven't said this in a while, but I just want to thank you guys. But I will see you guys, hopefully, soon. Peace.